15 breaking news. We are tracking breaking news for you right now. An anti-Islam group set to hold an art contest later tonight outside of this mosque in Phoenix. Those contestants are being asked to draw the Prophet Muhammad. Now you might remember this is the same type of contest that sparked radicals from Phoenix to travel to Texas and open fire just a few weeks ago. Let's get right out to ABC 15's Katie Connor. She's live from Northern NI 17 for us this morning where that rally will be taking place. And Katie, what is security like out there right now? Well, we've watched law enforcement come and go all day long. More than 900 people are expected to attend this anti-Islam event tonight. It's going to be on the streets here in front of this Phoenix mosque. That's why Phoenix police have set up cameras throughout this area, even on roofs, light poles and homes. Organizer of this event, John Ritzheimer, says the rally is in response to the Texas shooting where these two Phoenix men who claim to be ISIS followers opened fire at a similar anti-Islam event. Ritzheimer says he wants to draw attention to the religion that he believes promotes violence. Ones that are saying that they're a peaceful Muslim, to me that's not a Muslim. A Muslim is ISIS, Al-Qaeda, Taliban, Hezbollah, uh, Boko Haram. And police are asking people to avoid this area. The street that we're on right now, Orangewood, will be shut down. Police say that if the rallyers move over to the other streets, those roads will also be shut down. Friday is a very special day uh, to the Islam religion. Uh, people, the Muslims will pray five times a day. And tonight, when the rally is expected to start around 6 o'clock, is when uh, a bunch of Muslims will come to the mosque here to pray. So the conflict where they will be going into the mosque to pray and all the ralliers out, out front are what uh, detectives police are worried about and that's why there will be a lot of law enforcement out here tonight to make sure everyone stays as safe as possible. Danielle? Yeah, Katie, you've been telling us all morning so many agencies working together to keep people safe out there and this is something that we will be watching all day long. Thank you, Katie, for that update. Right